Hello everyone! Welcome back again to my channel. I am your science teacher, Sir Roy Kapul, and for this week, we're going to talk about the apparent movement of stars through the night and throughout the year. Let's start first with our most essential learning competency, and that is to show which constellations may be observed at the different times of the year using models. Now, for the review of the past lesson, we all know that stars have different characteristics such as the brightness, the color, the surface temperature, the size, and of course, we also have the mass. And last time, we also talked about the constellations or the group of stars that form a particular pattern. So for this week, we're going to talk about why do most stars and constellations move? If we're going to notice, our planet Earth is tilted at 23.5 degrees. Due to the Earth's rotation, stars appear to move. Rotation refers to the Earth's movement on its axis. As the Earth rotates from west to east, the stars appear to rise in the east, moving across south to set in the west. The sun will appear to move through the stars, making one complete circuit of the day or of the sky in 365 days. Stars close to celestial poles, the imaginary points where Earth's north and south axes point in space, have a very small circle of spin. So if you find Polaris, the Earth's north pole star, you will observe it move very, very, very little in the night sky. The farther from the Polaris, the wider the circle the stars trace. Another thing is that the stars that make a full circle around a celestial pole, like poles in the big and little dippers in the northern hemisphere, are called as the circumpolar stars. They stay in the night sky and do not set. At the equator, there are no circumpolar stars because the celestial poles are located at the horizon. All stars observed at the equator rise in the east and set in the west. Another question is that why do we see different constellations during the year? So here is the reason. If observed through the year, the constellations shift gradually to the west. This is caused by the Earth's orbit around our Sun, and that is what we call as the revolution. In the summer, viewers are looking in different directions in space at night than they are during the winter. The Earth is tilted 23.5 degrees off the vertical. This not only gives us the seasons, but also changes which constellations we see. Those constellations that we can see around are called circumpolar. The constellations are circle, the north star, and because we live in the northern hemisphere, we see them, we see them all around. These constellations are the Ursa Major, Cassiopeia, or some minor, and of course, we have here the Cygnus. So these are what we call as the circumpolar constellations. We have the two applications known as the Stellarium and the Star Map, which are the interactive stargazing app. So here is Stellarium, and we also have here the Star Map. The Stellarium and the Star Map are downloadable software applications that show 89 constellations on screen. What stars and planets are visible in the sky at your particular location at the time you are doing your star gazing? So here are the different references that I made use for my study. Thank you for watching.